Sport with Sean Williams and Rob Bonnet. 170 people in Austria die as fire sweeps through a mountain train. The train carrying many teenage skiers was trapped in a tunnel. Few escaped. The US election fiasco Republicans try to stop Florida's manual recounts. And remembering the war dead on the first Armistice Day of the millennium. Good evening. Up to 170 people, many of them teenagers, have been killed after fire broke out on a train travelling through a tunnel in the Austrian Alps. It's thought several Britons were on board. The train was carrying skiers and snowboarders from the town of Caprun up to the Kitschdeinhorn Glacier. Eight people survived by crawling out of a window. Smoke billowed out of the top of the tunnel from the train burning deep inside the mountain. Rescue workers could do nothing. By the time they reached the train, only the metal base remained. The fire was so intense, some skiers on the mountain were overcome by toxic fumes and had to be helicoptered off the slope. The cable train was filled to capacity. 180 people were on board when it entered the tunnel for a climb of 3,000 metres. It was around 600 metres into the tunnel when fire broke out. No one knows how, but it must have taken hold very fast. As smoke surged up to the top station, just eight of those on board managed to get out of the back of the train. The smoke was so intense and overpowering when it swept into the top station, another three people waiting there were also killed. The Austrian authorities believe the dead include skiers from Britain, the United States and Germany, as well as Austria itself. For Salzburg, it's one of the darkest and hardest days we could ever imagine. At least 150 people dead, most of whom were probably young people who just decided to go skiing on the spur of the moment. An urgent inquiry is now underway to establish how this mountain railway became the scene of skiing's worst disaster. An emergency centre has been established in a youth hostel for the bereaved and for those still clinging desperately to hope still people up on top of the mountain and that have not come down yet. Uh, the Austrian authorities have not uh, told us um, how many people are still up there and they told us they do not have the names of the people that are still on top of the mountain and that's what we're hoping uh, um, that our members of our group are still are with that group. This morning this youth center was buzzing with anticipation for the day on the mountain which lay ahead. Tonight it's a place where the worst news imaginable is being broken to the families of those who've died. Because no one knows exactly who was on the train, for some, the silence confirmed the worst. Abit is my best friend, and I only know in the morning he was going up on the glacier for skiing. He had a group, and, and I phoned him on the handy, and uh, I couldn't reach him. A memorial service was held this evening in Caprun's fire station. There will be many more such services, many more tears. Peter, when are we going to find out more details about exactly what happened to this train and, and who was on board? Well, unfortunately, it may be some time before we know who was on board. There is not a flight list as there would be with an aeroplane. There's not a passenger list as there would be with a boat. The terrible the fact of the matter is the only way they're going to find out who was on this train by, as we find out, who doesn't come home. How are the authorities coping with it all? Well, they're coping fairly well. 30 councillors are here uh, talking to anyone who wants to be talked to. But the fact of the matter is some very hard questions have got to be asked and answered about how a principal route up the mountainside in a major resort caught fire. The fire grew out of control with such catastrophic results. Peter Morgan, thank you very much.